Hi co-creators, it's Donna here. How you doing? Excuse the shades, but it's really bright out. It's lovely. Um, this is a video response to Mimi's video about the practices of law of attraction. First of all, I've got to say, Mimi, you're so funny. That really, really made me laugh and uh, started me off thinking that I really must use, learn to use the editing software that came with my camera. Uh, I haven't figured it out yet and it doesn't quite work with the um, Windows one that I used to use so uh, I'll have to figure that out. <laughs> that was really funny. You're absolutely right, you could easily, easily, easily um, just spend your entire life doing the practices of Law of Attraction and never actually getting anything done at all. Um, so, so that just made me chuckle. I got like a, a pile of books um, and journals and stuff that I had but then I decided I'd come and make this outside because it's glorious out here. Um, I don't exactly have a structure. At the end of the day I read or usually read um, a chapter from an inspiring book or two and I do my journal and this is a this is my latest journal and this one whereas the others I would do all sorts of things gratitude um, writing about you know how I'm feeling and what have you and ideas and answering questions this one is much more colorful I don't know if you can see that very well but it's very colourful, there's drawings, bad ones, um, ideas and thoughts. It's all very colourful, very positive, very fun. Um, and at the moment what I'm doing in my journal is I will do um, some gratitude. Um, specifically, I'll be grateful for one thing that's happened that day, one thing that hasn't happened yet, and one thing that I normally take for granted, um, so it could be something like running water or the fact that I can express my opinions without fear of being shot. Because um, a lot of people, and we tend to forget that a lot of people in the world don't have access to what we have. You know, they don't have electricity, they don't have gas, they don't have running water. People who have to walk for 40 miles just to find clean water. I mean, it's, you know, it's a lot to take for granted. Anyway, so, <laughs> so that, and then I also do, um, I might rewrite my day. Um, in really positive terms, I might um, do a little uh, kind of I see myself this way and um, you know if there's anything I'm feeling a bit negative about maybe I'm thinking oh god I've got no money I might say I see myself having more than enough money to um, go out with my friends tomorrow or whatever um, and just kind of couch everything in positive and end the day on a really positive note Everything else that I do, yoga, meditation, um, listening to uh, inspiring radio shows, doing courses and what have you, it's all a bit more spontaneous and this year has become like really playful, really fun and it's all about, I think, remembering that this is the law of attraction we're talking about here and the law of attraction is, as you all know, I know this, um, like energy attracts like energy so if you are doing gratitude for example just going yeah I'm grateful that sunshine I'm grateful for grass I'm grateful for my dog I'm grateful for my partner I'm grateful for my friends and you know but you're doing it from that kind of energy of I've just got to do this that's not the same as when you say I am so grateful that I have running water I am so grateful that I can express my opinion without being shot I'm so grateful that it, the sunshine is, I love the sunshine, you know, so I'll kind of go into why I'm, and feel grateful for it. I might do more things than three, but um, the point is to feel grateful for it. And so what I've been doing is making my practices more spontaneous, more fun, more playful, because that's what I want to attract more of. I don't want to attract more stress. Um, so I don't do anything that stresses me out as a law of attraction practice. I do fun things and, um, and definitely make room for inspired action because that's the whole thing. You know, if you want money, then not only do you want to be doing whatever you already do, whatever feels good for you, your, gra your gratitude, your affirmations, your whatever you're doing. Um, excuse the dog, she wants to get in on the act. <laughs> Shut up! Um, um, not just that, but go in the direction of money. You know, 
sell some stuff, um, sell your old phone, sell your old books, sell your old CDs, um, work on something that you know the plan is to make your money. The money might not come from that direction, but it will come. It will come from somewhere, and, and your action will kind of help it. It's like that that whole thing. You take one step forward, and the universe will rush to meet you. So make sure you're taking your steps. So uh, that's that's my two penneth on this subject. Um, and I think it's really, it's an important thing. Remember what the law of attraction is about. If you want to have a joyful life, then start feeling joyful now. Start feeling prosperous, start and do what you can. And have some fun and spontaneity and laughter and, and uh, make sure you're enjoying your practices and they're not just, you know, I get up in the morning, I do yoga for an hour, I meditate for five hours, I do my gratitude journal, I do this, I do that, and there's no joy in it. What's the point of that? Um, so anyway, hope to see some more video responses to Mimi's fabulous video, and uh, take care. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.